Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Excalibur Draw. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, uh, how do you start using Excalibur Draw here, especially on Obsidian? Well, in this case, using Excalibur Draw on Obsidian is pretty easy, but the first thing that you want to do here is you want to open up Obsidian and basically turn on a few things. So at the bottom left, you want to go to your settings. So go to the uh, vault that you have at the bottom left here. Click on the gear icon or the settings icon here. From here, you want to go to community plugins. And from here, what we need to do is you need to make sure that you've actually installed or in this case uh, have or install or basically turned on uh, plugins first. So if you're not aware yet, you could uh, your plugins are not by default turned on on Obsidian. So turn that on. You should see an option here to set that says turn on. But once you've done that, you want to go to community plugins here. Click on browse. And in here, you want to search for Excalibur. So in this case, just type in Excel draw here, click on it, and as you can see, uh, you should be able to see this option here. Now, you should see an install button here usually at the bottom left or just below Excel draw. Go ahead and click on it, wait for it to install, and once it's actually installed, you want to close this window, you want to go up to the plugins again, and you want to turn on Excel draw because by default, it's not turned on. So make sure to click on the turn on button here. But as you can see, it's now on the purple color here. So we can now start using Excalibur. Draw. Now let's go ahead and close this window here. Now at the left panel, you have the Excalibur Draw or create new drawing option here. Go ahead and click on it to create your Excalibur Draw. You could go ahead and rename this if you want. So in this case, you go ahead and open it up. Go ahead and select one of this one if you want to basically make a copy, omit this in a new window, open a new tab, depending on what you want. You could also rename or delete this if you want to. But in this case, how do we start using Excalibur Draw here? So the right side here contains our Excalibur Draw. So there are going to be different tools that you could access here. So let's go ahead and discuss the tools first and some editing options and shortcuts that we could utilize here. So first is we have our selection which in this case allows us to select different aspects or different drawings or elements that we've added here on our um, drawing. So in this case, let's go ahead and add a square or rectangle here. Let's go ahead and click on it. And we want to go ahead and basically draw a square. Now in this case, you can go ahead and do whatever you want here. Type anything or draw it. If you want to basically add text on it, you can go ahead and double click on it and start typing away as you can see right now. You can go ahead and just type it and it's going to be inside that specific rectangle. Now also, if you select your square here, you'll have the option to change a few things. Like if you want to undo or redo a few things, or you could just basically con uh, press on Control Z to undo or undo the changes that you've made. So I just press Control Z here. It's going to be a uh, remove before I've added it. But if you press Control Shift Z, it will actually redo all the changes that you did. So in this case, uh, Excalibur here supports like uh, some form of history. So if you've made some mistakes, you can just either press Control Z to undo or Control Shift Z to redo. Now, also, if you click one of the square elements you have here, you have the option that says uh, looks like a, a paint um, uh, icon here, which in this case allows you to change the color of the actual element here. You can also change the background color if you want to. As you can see, I can change it to this one, or you can even remove the background and all those stuff. You can also change the style itself if you want to do that. So this is just more on the customization side. So if you want to add a link, uh, delete it, or even uh, add some duplicate. So basically this is the customization window for the specific element that you want to do. Now also, by the way, if you right click on any of the elements that you have here, so see, yeah, I'm going to right click on it. I also have the option to insert any files here, insert any link to file could also copy to clipboard as PNG or copy to clipboard as SVG. You also copy t styles here and yeah. Also, uh, you could add other shapes as well if you click on the appropriate one. For example, I have our, tri uh, our diamond here. Just basically draw a diamond. You, you could also draw a circle and you could also draw in an arrow here. So as you can see, when we use the arrow here, it actually has that border pop up. So in this case, it will actually attach itself to that element. It's going to say, hey, this is pointing to, or it's going to start from here. And it's also going to point to the specific element here if you choose that. So let's just choose this one. As you can see, it's now pointing. Let's go and do this for the other one as well, as you can see right now. So yeah, so in this case, uh, whenever you move something here, it should, uh, in this case, it's going to uh, be a magnet 
to it so this is a great way for you to make sure that everything is actually going to be uh, on a specific format so it's going to point everything here if you want now also you have the, the draw tool here which allows you to draw certain shapes here that is not supported so if you want to draw something or a very specific shape you can go and do that also have a text tool here if you want to add some text outside the uh, shapes you could be able to basically use this one you could also use the image or the add image option here it allows you to add images also have the eraser tool here which allows you to erase elements that you've just added now we also have the other or more tools option here which again you have the frame tool you have the web embed tool and the laser pointer now each of these has their own use so a frame tool allows you to basically add frames to this one so if you uh basically uh wanna basically uh, organize a few things like uh, group shapes into different groups you could basically use the frame here you could also use the web embed so if you want to add a website into a, your creation here like for example you want to um, add google here you could go ahead and just basically type google.com here and it's going to start extracting that and you can just click on uh, start extract here it's going to extract the data from that specific website but it might take some while for it to uh, basically load up to so make sure to have the correct link here so if you have like HTML, uh, HTML here you can go ahead and add that but yeah now uh, the uh, right side here we have our laser pointer as well so if you want to teach someone like hey this is how it's going to do so laser pointer is like the drawing tool here but the thing here is lines doesn't actually uh, retain or is not permanent it will go away as you can see um, I just want to highlight hey look at this one or hey look at this one hey look at this one so if you want to point something you can use the pointer tool here now at the right side you have your other tools so you can also click on the obsidian tools panel here which allows you to basically do a few things like for example if you want to install or update Excalibur scripts if you want to read latest release notes regarding Excal uh, Excalibur you could even add a change raw mode here you can add a toggle property panel tray mode it should change a view here as you can see right now it's going to uh, move a few things and you can also go to full screen mode so basically it adds more functionality so if you want to basically add like files so if you want to export uh, some stencil library here you could also add images via this section or export images yeah also have the open as markdown and a copy a link now there, there obviously there's going to be a lot of things that you could do here interactions, but these are more of the TLT tools that you could use here. But the, these are still useful if you want to use them. But then again, these are uh, if you're just a beginner, you don't, you won't have to worry about this one. As long as you know how to start drawing here, you won't have to worry about it. So you could go ahead and just toggle it off if you want. Now you could also insert any file here if you want like if you want to add your own files here and you could also choose to keep selected tool active after drawing so if you're drawing like a specific icon so let's just select this one it's going to be locked in by default it's turned on let's go ahead and start drawing here so whenever I start drawing here it will not change my tool directly to the selection tool here instead it's going to be uh, steady on the specific tool that I'm using right now so just to give you an idea uh, as you can see I'm drawing random squares here but if I actually turn this off whenever I draw something again it's going to go to the selection tool immediately which is only allows us to draw one uh, one uh, icon or one shape at a time which is frustrating especially if you're building something so you can just use the uh, tool here to uh, create a lot of uh, shapes if you want to lay out everything if you that you want now you could also use the uh, pan or panning tool here which allows you to move things around here as you can see so just in case like if you still want to keep keep the magnification here so it's gonna be the uh, like I'm going to actually zoom in a bit here if you want to keep this type of look here but you don't want to uh, basically um, zoom out because you need to see other elements as well uh, sometime in the future so if you want to view them you can use the hand tool here to move around your workspace so instead of just zooming out to see everything you can just use the uh, hand tool to see things here move around and edit a few things but yeah so those are the basics on how to use Excalibur and that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video